elbow dislocations in children and beyond. There are five conditions connected to elbow dislocations in children. The pediatric elbow dislocation by itself occurs in older children between 10 to 15 years old. It is rare before the age of three, and it is not a very common injury. The elbow dislocation is usually posterolateral. There is no relationship between the radial head and the capitulum, but you maintain the relationship between the radius and the ulna. So it is an elbow dislocation and not a montagia. And the treatment of the pediatric elbow dislocation is close reduction and early range of motion. This condition may have an associated medial epicondyle fracture. Check if the medial epicondyle fracture is entrapped in the joint or not. The joint will appear incongruous. And this fragment may be hard to detect, especially if there is a spontaneous reduction of the elbow by itself. After reduction, if the fragment is still in the joint, or if there is substantial fragment displacement, this is an indication for surgery, open reduction, and internal fixation. Pulled elbow. We call it nurse-made elbow. It is common in young children between the age of 2 to 3, when pulling the child's arm, the child goes in one direction and the parent goes in another direction and the annular ligament becomes torn and trapped inside the joint and the radial head may be subluxed. This is not an elbow dislocation. It is a pulled elbow where the child refuses to move the elbow and the position of the arm of the child will be slightly flexed but pronated, and when you get the x-rays, the x-rays are negative. How do you treat that condition? You reduce it by full spination of the arm, followed by flexion, and there will be no need for immobilization of the arm. Let the child use the arm. How do you know it's reduced? Just give the child a piece of chocolate or candy and let him eat it. If he can bend the elbow so he can have the piece of chocolate in his mouth, then that elbow is reduced. Another entity that can be confused with elbow dislocation is congenital dislocation of the radial head, which is usually bilateral and you can't reduce it. There will be no significant history of trauma and the capitulum looks hypoplastic. You find that there is posterior dislocation of the radial head and the radius is bowed and shortened. Check for other anomalies and if the condition is symptomatic, you will do radial head resection in adulthood. Another entity is the Montagia fracture. Montagia is a proximal one-third ulnar fracture and radial head dislocation or subluxation. Condition may be difficult to diagnose and if the diagnosis is delayed, the treatment will be complicated and there will be more complications. Make sure you don't have posterior interosseous nerve injury. The diagnosis is difficult because the fracture of the ulna may not be very apparent, but you got to look at the radial head position in relationship to the capitellum. The most common type of Montagia dislocation is anterior dislocation of the radial head. We check the relationship of the radial head and the capitellum. In Montagia, the radial head is the one that's dislocated and not the elbow. So also the relationship between the radial head and the ulna is interrupted. And if you don't get anatomic alignment of the ulna, the radial head may continue to sublux 
and the unlike will heal in a bad position with the radial head dislocated. This condition will need osteotomy of the ulna and the open reduction of the radial head. Another entity is called the transepiphyseal separation of the distal humerus. Differentiating the pediatric elbow dislocation from the transepiphyseal separation of the distal humerus can be difficult. And because there is no clearly visible ossific centers at the distal humerus at the younger age, this condition can be misdiagnosed as an elbow dislocation. In elbow dislocation, the olecranon moves posteriorly and laterally. But elbow dislocation does not occur in children at one or two years old. Transepiphyseal separation of the distal humerus usually occurs in a younger age group than an elbow dislocation. The distal fragment goes medially. You will find the radiocapitular line remains the same. When you have that condition of transepiphyseal separation of the distal humerus, consider child abuse. Look for other signs of abuse. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.